Well, the forecast for the coming weekend is proving quite challenging as we see the computer models of the atmosphere are actually giving us quite different answers about how exactly the weather is going to evolve. If we look at this satellite imagery here, this is actually Nadine. Nadine is actually sitting near the Azores at the moment and she's a tropical system and you can probably see she's quite circular and symmetrical. It's quite a contrast to the normal mid-latitude weather systems that are often more elongated. And Nadine has some quite active convection near the centre. This is sort of pumping up some uh, very warm and moist air into the upper atmosphere. And once it gets there, it then streams towards the UK. This gives it a chance to interact uh, with the mid-latitude weather systems and it does mean that there is an increasing risk of wet and windy weather as we go towards the weekend. For the vast majority of the UK, most of us will be sitting under an area of high pressure. This does mean there will be a good deal of dry weather in most places with some sunshine, albeit a chilly start in one or two places. But if we look to the south, this is the weather system that's giving us so many problems at the moment. And if we just wind the evolution forward, we can see that one of the solutions actually brings the low sort of across Brittany for uh, midday Sunday. And by that time, we'd expect rain and gales uh, to be into much of the south coast of England. But if we look at another model, uh, it's much further west and therefore it'd be much more likely to affect southwest England and South Wales. So this is typical of the differences that we're seeing between the models. And if I just toggle between the two solutions, you know, we can see how much variance there is. This, though, does eventually mark the transition to some more unsettled weather as we go into the start of next week. <laughs>